this keyboard right there was sent to me a long time ago and more likely it's a keyboard kit that comes a 20 dollar price tag it's the test 68 and i can make a great custom keyboard from it by applying tape and just maybe 1.5 millimeter thick pe foam although that's not what i will do for today's video i just want to see how bad or good this keyboard is because for this price tag you can't expect too much although maybe it's good for the 20 dollars or maybe it's not even worth the 20 dollars let's check it out in today's video actually i won't be starting up by talking about the keyboard kit instead i will talk about the keycaps which you can see right there and a switches that are in this board because both of those two things you can get with this 20 dollar kit and let's see how they also worth it so i will start up by talking about the keycaps and they are really extremely flat profile and for the first i thought that i won't like them however i can say that these are pretty interesting they are really cheap they are made out of the pbt and there's this profile have something i mean i tried a lot of keycap profiles i tried cherry oem xda sa sa ma that's plenty of it but this set i mean yeah it's really flat and i really think that some of you might actually don't like it however when i look at it it looks pretty a legend it looks like classy i would say it has that minimalistic vibe that's what i can say by looking at them and the typing is really enjoyable not gonna lie for how flat they are and how small they are they are really pretty good i really enjoy to type on this i mean if i would search out for extremely budget keycaps i think i could go with that for real maybe they are not the top tier quality however for this price i can't complain for real they are extremely cheap also extremely cheap are the switches for the 15 dollars you can get 100 pieces 100 and the switches which are in there are lightweight linear switch 42 grams of actuation point that's pretty nice currently i'm using the 55 gram spring and i also like it but having 42 grams i just can't even feel that i'm pressing them so also if you'll consider taking switches with this keyboard i would say that's a good deal and if you ask me how smooth they are well they are a bit scratchy that's what to be expected i can even say that my everglide aqua kings are scratchy but like you can feel that scratchiness as much as you would probably could in a heavy spring switch so yeah an overall day by day usage they're pretty fine i would say i can use them stuck but lubing probably would make them even better and now finally we're moving to the kit itself and here well um this kit has only one connectivity option and it's wireless that's the biggest con of this board you can't connect this with a wire and to power on this keyboard you need to use batteries so you need to invest extra money into batteries and for the batteries i would recommend using rechargeable batteries so you will save up a bit of money compared to buying over and over batteries and well what makes this keyboard that cheap well it does not have any loop in the stabilizers is it good well for the 20 dollars i think it is because it makes the keyboard cheaper and in the same time it's easier to modify it later maybe some of you won't be happy that it does not have loop because you would like to use this keyboard stock and here the stops are not great as like take a here rattle it's pretty rattly and you definitely need to loop them to make them fit better they needed to cut the price somewhere and by not looping these stops they definitely done it 
Also, PCB does not support LEDs. And I can totally understand that, because the first thing is that it's cheaper to manufacture without LEDs. And the second part, the battery will last you longer. So I think LEDs wouldn't be here a good option if I would put them. You sacrifice your battery life, and since you can only have it wireless, then also it's again not the greatest thing. Also inside of this board, wait, let me show you because I have I didn't screw the PCB into the case. We've got in there the foam. That's a nice touch. For like $20, you get foam in there. So at the end of the day, for who this keyboard actually is. And I would say that this keyboard is for those who are looking to build their first custom keyboard, or maybe for those who are bored and they want to build a custom keyboard, or for those who just want the cheapest. And $20 for that is a steal. But not having this wired connectivity for me, it's, it's unacceptable. I couldn't use that. I never used the wireless connection in keyboards. I mean, I used the wireless connection in one of my boards, but the video about this keyboard will be coming. It's not ready. I still haven't recorded. Stay tuned for that. Can I recommend it? I would say yes. $20 for the mechanical keyboard kit. That's a steal. If you have $20 and you don't know what to do with them, buy TES-68. I can totally recommend this. And I know I haven't... And I know... And I know I didn't. And for those who wonder how this port sounds like, right now you'll be able to hear the sound test. Enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's sound test.